The following tape and many others were recovered by FBI intern Valerie Bartett and given to us. All right. Valerie Bartett. Leaving without a trace, she suddenly went missing at the end of her internship in Lancaster, California. Foul play is suspected. All right, we are off to a stunning start. So long as Valerie is missing, these tapes will continue to be leaked. We gave you a chance, and this will be your last. Oh, this is kind of like a, more if it's like a serial killer type thing. You know, even notes and clues for us. The information conveyed throughout this debrief training tape pertains to a prior investigation. It is imperative that agents refrain from viewing this material unless they possess the appropriate clearance and are under the direct supervision of an instructor. Any failure to comply with this directive will result in prosecution to the fullest extent possible under the Espionage Act of 1917. You have been warned. I haven't seen the FBI warning thing in a long time, back when like VHSs were popular. Case number 12, 9876. Tape purpose debrief date. August 25th, 1988, clearance, top secret, case type, missing persons, entity present, status resolved. <sighs> Previously inhabited by both Dakota and Ojibwa tribes, it is now home to year-round camper and hikers. The park, along with other state parks are north, up north, has experienced an increase in animal-like attacks. The cause was unknown until found footage of missing persons. Brady Kaufman provided the Bureau with evidence of what was committed during the attacks. Okay, they... Uh, subject Brady Kaufman. On August 25th, 1988, Brady Kaufman, a 59 year old male, visited O'Brien State Park unaccompanied. The subject's behavior during his visit was unusual as he intermittently started recording at various times. Medical records revealed no history of mental health issues. Subsequently, on August 26th, the subject was reported as missing. His body was discovered on August 30th, and the recovered footage from his recording device will now be presented in chronological order accompanied by annotations. Oh my God, I'm going to work out on this one. Oh, hook. Okay. Okay, Whew. I was like, oh god, I gotta read again? <laughs> Alright. Okay, very pixelated VHS. The subject initiated recording. The reason for their sudden recording activity remains unknown. The subject would occasionally zoom on certain objects. Okay. Alright. Yes, so just so you know, my video is just as pixelated as yours, so I apologize for that. Hopefully when it gets a little brighter... It's going to be a little easier to watch. So, let's see what happens. Okay, is this like a free roam? Can I go anywhere I want? <sighs> oh, not this way. I lied. I cannot go anywhere I want. Very crunchy ground and stuff. Is it change? Oh, yeah, okay, it changed when you step into the grass. Got some fireflies. All right, it's fireflies. Yeah, this is literally a walk in the park, guys. So far, so good. Nothing, but actually this is kind of nice. This reminds me of some hikes I used to do with my friends at night. You know, you had like the group and you had like, everyone had their own campsite and then you'd go walk down the path together. Well, kind of nostalgic and fun for me and I can't go check out that campsite though. I guess we just continue down the road. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. We're already starting this shit. Yeah, turn off your horn, you asshole. <laughs> okay. Man. Look at that moon. It's covered by clouds. Oh, can we go in the bathroom over here? What do we got? I'm guessing... Okay, it doesn't say anything, but I'm guessing that would say restroom. Alright, I'm, uh... No, okay, okay. Damn. It's so grainy. And I promise that the graphics are turned all the way up right now. So this is as good as it's gonna look. Oh, we got some steam. Okay, dude, we're kinda going to the shower room. I don't wanna get called like a creep. Okay. Pause one. The subject stops filming, then takes a shower. It is estimated 10 minutes elapsed before the subject starts again, I'm guessing. God damn this. I'm sorry if I read this super fast. I'm going to have to get better about that because this game takes no prisoners. You just have to read <laughs> as fast as you can. All right. Oh, okay. It is a bathroom. People use the bathroom, so it's okay. You know, it could be just because of where I grew up, but... Being in the woods at night never really freaked me out, to be honest. It always kind of, uh, you know, like where we live, 
we don't have many dangerous predators. It's not like we live in like Northern California where you have grizzly bears and you know uh, mountain lions and stuff. I mean, we have, I think we have, uh, well, we have black bears and stuff, and we have you know moose, I guess. But for the most part, nothing up here wants nothing wants to hurt you where I live. So the woods are a very peaceful place at night. Unfortunately, I don't think this is going to stay like this. Really? Nothing? Oh. Oh, hello? Do I know you? Upon return to the campsite, an unknown figure stands near the subject's tent. Neither campground records nor witnesses recall seeing a white male of his profile. Why this person was here or who they are still remains unknown, but is not being actively pursued. Okay, that's a little suspicious. Why is it not being actively pursued? Did this person that we're playing as disappeared? And this... The largest jump of time happens at this point with an estimate of one to two hours time elapsed. The recording resumes with the subject two miles in the Hardwood Hills loop. Why the subject started the hike is not relevant to the Bureau's involvement. Okay, somebody sounds like they're covering something up because why is none of this relevant? I mean, we're literally looking for a missing person. They literally have suspicious activity on camera and we're not going to pursue any of it. Just saying, I'm not a professional, but... uh you would think that these are clues that we would be following. I mean, isn't that the FBI's job? Just my two cents. <sighs> that ambience is so nice, but it's probably gonna backfire soon. It's probably not gonna be so nice because there's definitely opportunity to start doing some stuff. And if you're asking, this is the fastest I can walk. So unfortunately at the moment, there is no sprint. No doubt about it. This is definitely a walking sim. Oh. No, it's just it's just a deer. Or an elk or it's California, so there's elk, I think. Maybe. It's something related to a deer or a moose. It's okay. We're good. Everything's peaches and cream. We're good. I'm trying to see if there's any Easter eggs in the woods, and by Easter eggs I mean peering eyes. Demons, ghosts, wendigos, chupacabras, anything. So far, nothing. Nada. Zilch. Oh, see, there's the deer. Okay, we're good. It was a had a good uh had a good rack on it though. Big old buck. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Oh, it's foliage, sorry. <laughs> Going across the river. Is there a troll under the bridge? Okay. So, our dear friend might have uh, just become dinner for a uh, mountain lion. Maybe. <laughs> that was a distress call. <laughs> Nothing good about that one. Other than the deer getting massacred and the man who randomly showed up our campsite, it's been a pretty great night. Sure would be a shame if someone ruined it. Uh, yep, there's our dear friend. That is fresh. The deceased deer was killed by an entity, yes. Oh my god! <laughs> subject encountered deceased deer attack by entity. The film abruptly ends after subject detects entity in vicinity. Well, what's the entity? Why are we stopping? Subject exhibits distress and flees off trail. Entity pursues subject and can be heard in proximity. Subject resumes filming approximately four minutes after pause. This marks the final pause. Okay, this is it. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. The subject is audible for the first time displaying emotions of fear. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I don't like that. Yep, okay. It's going faster. Yeah. Keep going. Oh, we, oh, yep, okay. I don't. Oh, brother, I'm not liking these sounds. I'm not liking this. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, come on. I don't know what to look for. Do I turn around? It's just sound all around me. I just want. Okay, okay. Okay. Dude, where am I supposed to be going? 
And I hear footsteps. Oh, I hear footsteps. I hear footsteps that are not my own. Oh my god. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, the subject struggles against entity but sets away. The camera is severely. or gets away. It's damn. Subject blood creeps the brain. <laughs> Holy shit, this is loud. <laughs> uh, Brady Kaufman's death would occur over the next five minutes. The remaining footage has been cut short for viewer discretion. Additional entities can be heard and would later fight over the remains. The footage ends when the camera's battery runs out. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll. Subject's remains were found scattered. Most flesh was consumed. Little personal items remained intact. The public was told it was an abnormal bear attack. Subject remains were found scattered. Oh, no, sorry. Sorry, that changed. A tibia found half a mile away. The subject's film was the first footage captured of S0012. Ultimately, the subject's footage provided the Bureau proof to extend funding in special operation contain entities, to contain entities. This case marks the first of many successful entity resolution programs. Entity debrief. Name Wendigo. Okay, so it's a Wendigo. Uh, risk severe. Containability three. Okay, so this is almost like a... Um, Wendigos are creatures originally from Native American tribes, originated, originated from Native American tribes of the Great Lakes region. The malevolent supernatural beings bring terror to forest dwellers and are linked to numerous missing person cases. Tall and emaciated looking Wendigos bear antlers. And according to recent intelligence, there has been a notable resurgence of the Wendigo, and their geographical distribution has now expanded southward towards Minneapolis. In response to this emerging threat, the Bureau has established a joint task force in collaboration with the Canadian CSIS to take immediate and decisive action to halt the expansion of the species and eventual eradication. It is imperative to maintain strict operational security and keep the general public uninformed of these operations to prevent any unnecessary panic or interference. All right, so just so you know, this is apparently, yeah, the story doesn't end here. It's the first episode in a series of many. Okay, so sorry. Anyways, as I was saying, so this is one of many episodes to come apparently. And by the sounds of it, it's going to be almost like a cryptid hunting group that's like split off from the FBI or something like that. That's at least what I'm gathering from the little bit of information we have right here. So... It's kind of like um, it's kind of like the SCP kind of thing, you know. So where they have like all the entities that do things, and you know, granted those are all like much more elaborate and abstract entities. This is like I'm gonna guess big like Wendigos and Sasquatch and the Loch Ness monster, the Chupacabra, things like that. So I'm definitely very interested interested to see where this is gonna go. Um, Again, this was kind of, yes, it was the first episode, but I'm going to take this more as a demo. So I'm going to give them more of a chance. There definitely is more they could do with this concept. So I guess we'll just see where it goes. So thanks for hanging out. I know it's a short one. There's plenty more coming, I promise. Sorry, not much went out. None went out last week. Um, just been very busy. So with that, guys, I hope you have a great night. And remember to stay spooky, everybody. Hey, guys. Hope you enjoyed that video. Just wanted to let you know that we now have a podcast. Over there, we talk about all kinds of haunted history, spooky happenings, cryptids, aliens, you name it. If it's spooky, we're going to talk about it. If you'd like to check that out, use the link right over here. If you'd like to see another one of these kind of videos, like one of our horror game playthroughs, you can use the link right over here. With that, guys, I'll leave you to it. Remember to stay spooky and have a great night, everyone.